everybody. Glenn here. Um, I'm still in San Diego in the gas lamp. It's like day, I don't even know what day it is, day five or six. It's Thursday. Um, conference, Ezra UC, is winding down a bit, and it's been a long week. I'm, I'm in the gas lamp driving again, and today um, it's about 5 p.m. right now, so it's been a long day. I've got David Hansen with me. David is from Biloxi, Mississippi. Yep. And, well, he lives there, and I don't know if you're from there. I'm from there. From there. Okay. Born and raised. Wow. Um, so, David is um, with GeoJob, and, I don't know, Dave, you want to um, introduce yourself and your, you know, what you do for GeoJob and your title? Yeah. You'll get it, right? So, I'm um, Vice President of Software Development, and I'm Director of our Center for Research Engineering, which uh, develops a lot of the applications inside of GeoJob. So, uh, we've made um, Mapfolio, Admin Tools, a lot of the top apps on the marketplace. And uh, we just generally act as the development arm of, uh, of GeoJo. So. Okay, good. Yeah, I think a lot of people watching this will hopefully be uh, familiar with GeoJo. <laughs> given that, I hear that um, you have like the top, is it top three apps in the marketplace? Top three apps. I act as the product manager for um, Admin Tools and Mapfolio. Admin Tools is the number one and the number two app in the marketplace. The uh, free version is number one and the paid version is uh, number two. So. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, well, leading into that, um, so admin tools. For those who don't know, what you know, cool. who it's for, what it does. Would, so, uh, admin why tools, would I want admin tools? Yeah, it's basically a set of tools designed for administrators of portal or online, where you can do anything you need to do in bulk. So, if you need to, I don't know, for some reason, delete 500 users, you can do that. And whenever you do it, it's an intelligent delete that would find all the content owned by the users, all their groups, and ask you what you want to do with it. So it streamlines as a process. That's just an example. There's over 50 tools. It's a giant toolbox. Um, you know, think of it as uh, anything you need to do in bulk, you can do. You can visualize all kinds of uh, data. You can visualize item dependencies. You can click on a web application, and you can see the web map that hydrates it, and then all the layers that hydrate that web map. What's even cooler is you can click on a feature layer inside of it and say, show me every single web map across my entire organization or my entire portal that uses this particular layer. You get that right there. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. okay. So if this layer is going to, I don't know, something goes wrong with it or whatever, yep. I can or understand what implications that Before allows, you delete right? it. Or maybe you're like, man, I don't even remember this layer. What is it? And then you <laughs> click it, it and you see it's used by two things called test map and test map two. And it's like, uh -huh. it's like 500 megs. You're like, man, that's eating up credit. So I'll just, you know, kind of get rid of that one. Then there's, uh, it also is really good at uh, this cloning process, which is the ability to move content between two organizations or two portals or an ArcGIS Online organization and a portal or any, any mix that you want there. And uh, it's really smart because what it'll do is, uh, it's a real bright guy, Mike Ems, he designed a lot of it. He uh, works down the Bluxy office with me. If you move a web mapping application, it finds the web map that hydrates it, it moves that, it finds all the layers that makes the uh, web map, it moves all of those as well and uh, rewires all the new item IDs, all the new names, it gets all of it working again as soon as you move it. It even moves like, if you have feature attachments on that data, it'll move all that with it too. So pretty strong. Wow, okay. Yeah, because from what I understand that, you know, moving data around, someone leaves or maybe wants to take data with yeah. them for something to another organization, that can be a real um, kind of headache. It can be. Yeah. It's a headache we like to solve. <laughs> That's what we do, we like to solve yeah. headaches. I'll tell you what really makes admin tools powerful is that the most important button in all of admin tools isn't any of the things you think of as tools. It's in the bottom right, we have request a feature or report a bug. And that's how we interact with our community. We also have live chat with like people who work on the product always going inside of it. So you can talk to someone who works on it and say like, hey, I have this idea. And normally we have a pretty quick turnaround of making an idea into a reality. So we've had people okay. that say, hey, I need a problem solved. Two weeks later, there's a tool in there that solves that problem. So. Awesome. So, um, back to this week in San Diego, mm -hmm. Esri Conference, so GeoJob was on the, um, I saw you guys, you had the booth set yeah. up, and so you were showcasing admin tools and your cloud um, solution. Yeah, the GeoPowered Cloud, all that data hosting, real strong there, it's a, that's a good thing. If you want all the power of Arc Server without any of the hassle, we take care of that for you too. Yeah. Okay. And something I, I saw the other the other day was that you were part of a panel. So the yeah. you're involved with the YPN. Yeah. Young Professionals Network. Network. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So that was excellent. I really appreciate they uh, you know they invited me to speak at that. Um, it was really wonderful. It was uh, myself, um, 
Cassie from Firewatt, Kurt Deridix from uh, the Startup Program, and uh, Damien from um, from Esri were all on stage together. Just kind of an opportunity to talk about uh, branding yourself in GIS, how to build and grow your personal brand, mm -hmm. how to make sure that uh, you know you're kind of putting the right foot forward there whenever you're entering the industry. Uh, some just tips, um, you know, how to grow the personal brand, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's interesting. I was actually talking to a guy about exact exactly that. I think last night, Timothy Hales, I don't know if you know him, but he's, he's a young guy with um, um, yeah. Esri, yeah. and I've watched him kind of grow up when he was like in college, now he works for Esri, but he's done a good job of doing exactly what you were just talking about, so, yeah. okay, so, um, oh, let's see, what else I wanted to ask you, so you mentioned Kurt, who I know yeah. quite quite well, in the startup, um, this guy's head's in his phone here, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, <laughs> <laughs> wrong way <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a one way, one way street. We'll have to edit out that. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> okay, the one where David and Glenn go down the, go the wrong way, down. Um, you know, uh, GeoJob's never about forth. the path of least resistance. Never. Yeah. Okay, what were we talking about? Okay, so Kurt and startups. Uh, startups yeah. And something that you guys are involved with is kind of like, for anyone involved in a startup program, and there's like yeah. 300 companies, from what I understand, if they need some help. Or... Yeah, a lot of times, uh, there's we work very closely with a lot of the startups, real passionate about the startups, because we feel, you know, really that's a, that's a huge injection of new blood, new ideas, new ways of thinking. It's always good to have that. So what we do is... Uh, if you have a startup and they have like a really great idea and it's wonderful and everything, it's built on Google Maps, it's like, yeah, that's a little difficult to really completely bring that into the Esri environment. So what we do is uh, we'll go with these startups and we'll kind of help them understand the Esri paradigm, like how the whole uh, web mapping platform works, let them, uh, you know, we'll even go as far as write code with them. We'll sit down and mm -hmm. say, hey, look, we're not going to completely convert your product for you, but we'll do a good bit of it while one of your engineers sets with us and and we kind of show you the ropes and educate as part of it as well. Cool. Yeah, I know. I, I always spend a lot of time in the startup zone. Yeah. On the exhibition floor. And this year, like, the the companies have really matured. And I did notice that for a lot of the, the startups, they're mm -hmm. not traditional, you know, GIS companies. And a lot of them maybe really are, are totally new to the Ezra ecosystem. Yeah, I know whenever you did uh, one of these with Neil Job that I talked about our work with uh, MapTix at the time and... You know, now we're doing some exciting work with uh, a lot of the startups. So I'm going to tell you, uh, uh, Mapillary is a real exciting one. They're a good one. Mm -hmm. um, cool technology. Know, and really, I mean, all the everything in the startup program is just amazing, every bit of it. Um, and that whole team, Kurt, Katie, Doug, every one of them, just a shout out to them. They're pretty great. So, yeah. Awesome. So, um, yeah, what else we got to say? We kind of covered off a lot. Yeah, a lot we there, did. good. Yeah. We threw a lot so, out there pretty uh, quick. There's, yeah. Uh, Anything else you wanna you wanna mention? Yeah, I mean, uh, probably just um, be on the lookout for some new stuff that's gonna come out of GeoJob. We've uh, you know we've created a lot of very interesting things, ranging from the plugin we have that integrates WordPress and ArcGIS online, and you know admin tools, Mapfolio, like all this great stuff. Uh, there's something else that I'll be product managing pretty soon that we're going to release in the next year that huh? I'm really excited about. Maybe we can uh, look back at this video as a <laughs> kind of me mentioning it before it really Teaser. existed. Yeah, but it's uh, it's something to do with uh, really uniting the whole community uh, for collaboration. So it's going to be pretty uh, pretty awesome. So I have high hopes for it. Yeah. Okay. And probably to uh, segue out of that. It goes nicely. By the time this video comes out, it'll probably be known that uh, I'm going to be working for GeoJob, which will be a big surprise to a lot of people because uh, I've been involved in, you know, the tech world and publishing and whatnot for wow, 16 years, I think. So more, no, more than that, more. 19, 19 yeah. years. So I'm looking forward to that working with you and yeah. the team. You guys are uh, doing great stuff. I'm really excited. We're really excited to have you on board, Glenn. It's going to be amazing. I can yeah. tell you right now. It's going to be fun. All right. So uh, there you go. We got the, the scoop right there. <laughs> Thanks for driving. Have a cool. good night. We're going to uh, we're going to be off at Balboa Park tonight. It's Thursday night. Party in the park. Yeah. That should be good. All right. Thanks for driving along.